Hey, uh, I need to see what you're shooting. Oh, I just got here. I still have five more hours of shooting and an hour to get back to the hotel. Then I will upload it and send it to you. So please wait six hours. Six hours? Are you kidding? I can't wait that long. The president keeps asking me about it. Just send me one clip so I can see what it looks like. Oh, I can't do that. I would have to go all the way to the hotel and I lose the rest of the shooting day. Oh, I can't believe this. You should be sharing with us what you're doing. This is just ridiculous. I'll tell you this. Next job, we're going to find somebody who can keep us up to date. That's just not possible. Hey, uh, how's it going there? Uh, can I see some of the footage? Oh, I just started shooting. Not too much yet. But uh, would you like to see what I have done today? Uh, just go to youtube.com slash pvbu. You can see it there. Oh, really? Okay. Oh, hey, look at that. That looks amazing. Oh, I'm going to show this to the president right away. He's going to love this. Oh, this is great! I'm glad that you like it. All footage today I shoot will be available over there, so you can check it immediately. Oh, this is just incredible. You're doing a great job. I tell you what, we're going to have a lot more jobs for you in the future. This video demonstrated a prototype firmware that we are considering making available as an optional upgrade for the AC160 camcorder. Users would be able to upload directly from the field using only an iFi card and mobile router, eliminating the need to leave the shooting location or to even open a computer. Using iFi cards is a great way to take advantage of the dual SD card slots included in the AC160 camcorder. By using a regular SD card for local recording in one slot, and an iFi card for transmission in the second slot, you can be sure of maintaining your recording while sending files to the cloud. iFi cards can already be used in our camcorders, but this upgrade would make them easier to manage by stopping transfers during recording, enabling setup of iFi cards via the camera, displaying transfer progress in the LCD, and limiting AVC cam file size to the 2 gigabits allowed by iFi. We believe that using iFi cards could be a more ideal approach to wireless transmission than including the ability in camera, as you could have multiple iFi cards and easily switch them based on the location to which you wish to send the footage that day. This will help to prevent users from forgetting to reset their wireless settings and mistakenly sending footage to the wrong client. We think that this proposed upgrade would be very convenient to a wide range of our users, but we would love to hear what you think. Please let us know via our Facebook page.